How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. The first expansion is a major topic in the Horizon community at the moment as it is expected to be announced within the next couple of months quite soon. Now last month you may have seen I did a video talking about how the first expansion could be Jurassic World related, Jurassic World theme. There were quite a lot of things to back that up, it's just a working theory. Now since I made that video there are even more things to add to the whole theory and rumour about the first expansion being Jurassic World related and we're going to talk about that now. Please do let me know in the comment section below your honest thoughts on this do you think it's a bit of a stretch do you think it's just a coincidence or do you think that these are hints and they mean something let's have a look at what we have in the last video we talked about how the jurassic world movie the next movie comes out on june the 10th and we we could guess that the first expansion was going to release somewhere around june or july in the general area well now the latest rumor is that the expansion is going to be announced on the 12th of june at the Xbox Game Showcase, which now we know is actually only two days after the Jurassic World movie releases. But what else has been found that's dinosaur related that could be clues and hints towards the first expansion being Jurassic World related? Well, where do I start? I get quite a lot of DMs from all of you guys that are finding dinosaur related things on the Foot 2005 map. For example, this guy pointed out there are tons of sort of dinosaur or T-Rex props sort of scattered around the map, just sort of chucked in corners and chucked in rubble. This guy pointed out one here. Another thing that someone else found and showed me was this here. This is a screenshot of presumably the Horizon Adventure sort of page, you know, the, the map layout thing. And if you look at the top, you'll see a picture of an island or a mountain with a little dinosaur peeking its head around. If there is a Jurassic World first expansion, it would make sense for it to be on an island because the movies are set on an island and it was actually set on a fictional island, which is just off the coast of Mexico. And we all know that Horizon 5 is set in Mexico, so it would make sense for the Jurassic World to have its own island and this thing found on Horizon Adventure sort of map menu thing looks like looks to be a dinosaur on some kind of island. Now another thing which is worth mentioning is over on Twitter by Xbox Game Pass. Xbox Game Pass put out a tweet saying combat mortal craft mine simulator goat just talking about game titles more cool combat Minecraft and goat simulator. Now this could mean nothing but it's still worth mentioning Forza Horizon themselves replied to this tweet saying Horizon Forbidden West. Wait, no. Obviously sort of joking that Horizon is Forza but Horizon is also Forbidden West because Forbidden West Horizon is also another game. Now the thing that someone tagged me in and pointed out is that Horizon Forbidden West is a game that has dinosaurs in it or at least dinosaur slash dragons, you know, the fictional kind of dragonly dinosaur type things you know what i mean as he says here this just adds to the amount of hints and weird things going on lately that are all dinosaur related does this tweet mean anything is it just a random tweet that just happens to be related to dinosaurs slash dragons type thing now not everyone agrees with this as you can see on twitter someone replied with bro what are you smoking you know basically saying Really? It's a bit of a stretch. Bionic Ape said, I find that connection to be a stretch, but data miners on Horizon 5 found a lot of dinosaur related liveries, also all of the new dinosaur props. The June 10th release date for the new Jurassic World movie lines up with the big Microsoft showcase in June, the one I mentioned on June the 12th, could definitely be DLC map one. Again, it's certainly possible. I don't know what he's referring to when he says that the data miners have found dinosaur related liveries. I've not found anything about that, although I could be wrong. Now, before we talk about what vehicles could possibly be within a Jurassic World expansion, I need to cut to the sponsored segment of this video. The BenQ EX3410R is one of the best monitors I've used for Forza, and I'm going to show you why now. It's a 4K monitor with one millisecond response time, 144 hertz of refresh rate, 34 inches in size, and it's curved as well. It looks amazing in person. In the box, you get tons of cables to suit all of your needs, so you don't have to look around the house to find your own. Own. Very easy instructions on how to assemble it without having to touch the screen. There's lots of adjustment up and down, left to right. It's quite easy to get your perfect sort of adjustment on it. Comes with a remote that's very responsive and can help you navigate the menus and the settings if you want to tinker with the video settings, the audio settings. Now there are actually different HDR modes for what type of thing you're using the monitor for, whether that's game, cinema or whatever else. 
you can see that flicking the HDR mode to game really does pop out some of the colours. One of the downsides to Forza is people complain about the sense of speed and with an ultra wide monitor like this one it really does make it just that little bit better and a much better racing experience. You can even go as far as going into the HDR modes and fine tuning them to your preference if you want there to be more blacker blacks, more whiter whites, you can really change the colours. My favourite thing about the monitor is the audio capabilities. There are yet again different audio modes for different games and the racing game audio mode on this monitor is amazing. I'm going to compare them right now for you so you can hear just how better the game sounds when on a racing game audio mode. If this monitor looks appealing to you and you want to add it to your gaming setup, the links in the description will take you straight to it. Now, as I said, when it comes to vehicles within the Jurassic World expansion, lots of people have just thought, you know, what could they possibly add that's vehicle related to do with Jurassic Park or Jurassic World? As I said earlier, the new Jurassic World movie isn't out yet, so we don't really know much about it, but there have been some leaked images of the movie itself being filmed, you know, the set of the movie. These vehicles are on screen right now and these, these are cars that are within the game already but these specific variants of them aren't so if the Jurassic World expansion is a thing and it does turn to be real I'd certainly bet that it's a possibility that this vehicle right here and other variants of the Jurassic World vehicles used within the movie could get added to the game and this is just one of them. Another thing expansion related is another leak that's been going around lately which is this image right here. I need to correct myself, it's not a leak, it's a concept image and that means that this image is not the first expansion guys. There are quite a few videos around YouTube lately that are talking about this image being the map of the first expansion, Avalanche City. It's not true guys, come on. This is just a fan-made concept image, this is not any genuine image from Forza at all, it's not being leaked, it's not the first expansion, it's not the second expansion. So please don't believe any YouTube videos out there that are saying that this might be the first expansion, Avalanche City. It's not. The first expansion being some kind of city is certainly still a possibility. It's by no means guaranteed to be Jurassic World at all, but I need to get it out there that stuff like this is not real or we don't want to be getting our hopes up about it. All in all, there's just a lot of dinosaur related things, a lot of hints, a lot of things that add up. Maybe Playroom Games are just obsessed with dinosaurs and like chucking them in the map, putting them on liveries and stuff like that, or maybe they are hints. What do you guys think in the comment section below? Now one of the main arguments you guys have about the Jurassic World expansion not being a thing is that the first expansion for every Horizon game is never branded, it's never a collaboration like Lego and Hot Wheels. It's always a fictional area like Fortune Island and Blizzard Mountain. And yes, you are right, the first expansion has never been a collab with any movie or you know, brand. Does it have to stay that way? No, not necessarily. Playing on games can change it up whatever they want. There are no rules to it. They don't have to make the first expansion a fictional area. That's just what they've done in the past. So we'll have to wait and see. Yet again, I need to remind you all that this video is just the discussion video. This isn't to get anybody's hopes up. This is just to see what you guys think and to show you guys all of the hints out there about Jurassic World related stuff. It's just quite interesting and you guys seem to enjoy these videos. So. If you guys have spotted anything else dinosaur related or other hints that could point towards the first expansion being this, do let us know in the comment section below. Leave a like if you've enjoyed everyone, subscribe if you haven't already for more Horizon 5 content, and I'll see you all later.